which is the best action camera you can buy right now. It depends, but I can tell you which are the best six budget action cams released in 2018. Hi, welcome to the Tech for All channel, I'm Michael, and before I carry on with the first contender, I'd like to tell you uh, how I've picked these six models. Well, first of all, they are released throughout 2018, or very short before the beginning of 2018. Secondly, um, our threshold is 150 US dollars. Everything above 150 uh, didn't really qualify over here, meaning that you wouldn't see any brands like GoPro, like Sony, like Garmin, like uh, what else? Even the SJ8 Pro wouldn't make it to this list. Also, models which are fairly old, like the E4K Plus, a brilliant camera, or E4K Lite, which is another brilliant camera, because they are from the summer of 2017, I'm not really gonna talk about them. And since we mentioned the 150 US dollar threshold, Keep in mind that the price really depends on the region where you're located. Like for European Union customers, the price is going to be like 20% higher, even more. Uh, could be even more expensive for Australia, Canada, like duty and import taxes, uh, currency deviations and so on. You know the story. Keep in mind that I'm going to show these cameras in a random order. This is not a chart, so which one is the best, I'll leave you to decide. Okay, starting with one of the nicest surprises lately. This is the Acaso V50 Pro, which is based on the same hardware, firmware, features as the MG Cool Explorer 3, but the latter one is no longer being manufactured, with MG Cool being non existent as a brand any longer. If you're looking to get the best accessories and perhaps the best packaging, this is among the top choices. The hardware of the V50 Pro is based on good chipset, which is able to stabilize while recording even at the highest resolution, 4K at 30 frames per second. It shoots with excellent quality at lower resolutions too, 2.7K and Full HD. It has a touchscreen, intuitive menus, very good battery life, an in-body mount and a bit weird placement of the two buttons might get a while until you get used to. The other shortcoming is the lack of decent slow motion video. 120 frames per second are available at 720p only. What is interesting about Acaso is that they are targeting their customers mostly via Amazon and you won't be able to find their devices on Chinese websites like Banggood, TomTop and so on, which clearly shows commitment to deal directly with customers and immediately makes them a reputable company Throughout the year, the price of this one was varying between $110 and $120 on Amazon.com. Going further with a member coming from Ekin, the Moto is H6S. As usual, Ekin continue releasing a lot of action cams. And they cover the budget, but also the very budget segment. Right now, this one is a steal. True 4K camera, which costs around $90 US dollars on some websites and around $110 on Amazon. The camera is based on last year's flagship hardware, chipset provided by the US-based company Amberella, which used to be partnering with GoPro, and this motor has close performance to the GoPro Hero 5. It arrives with plenty of accessories, and they are almost as many as the previously mentioned Acaso V50 Pro. The build quality is superb, so is the performance, it can shoot at 4K, and even provide electronic image stabilization at the highest resolution. No touchscreen though, no good options for slow motion videos, not too many options to be configured via the menus, which is the usual disadvantage of using a device by Ekin, and no way to stop the electronic image stabilization, which will ruin your plans to get a gimbal and shoot nice videos, because you wouldn't be able to get rid of the artifacts which are caused by EIS, especially in low light. But if you're looking for a budget solution with a lot of accessories and you want to stick to the basics in terms of menus and options, the Ekin H6S is quite a good choice. Going further, another device which is based on similar hardware but picking different approach 
and features, it's the Firefly 8 SE. Following the overwhelming success of the 8S, Hawkeye, which is the actual name of the company, decided to do a second, slightly upgraded release. It brings the same good quality with a touchscreen, better menus, better lens, therefore improved shooting performance, especially at slow motion. You will be surprised by the full HD shot at 120fps. As an action cam enthusiast, I also like the huge amount of configuration options. You have the ability to fine-tune almost every shooting aspect. Accessories are a lot and you even get an external microphone. Uh, shortcomings are the lack of stabilization at resolutions other than 1080p. And I'd point to the touchscreen as well. I somehow don't like it and prefer to use the buttons for configuration and navigation. You can get a lot out of this camera. It even has custom firmware. Just visit goprone.com and check for the available options. Price-wise, your pocket is going to be 120 dollars lighter after you buy it. Unfortunately, there is no official presence on Amazon.com. You can get it, however, uh, from the UK Amazon store, which is good for European customers. Other than that, official resellers, Banggood, TomTop, Gearbest, of course, and they have an AliExpress store. Okay, going further, the next one Fiat T5 Edge. It's one of their top 2018 models. Fiat are another young and very promising company with good marketing, good support, frequent firmware updates and decent quality. It is another top device with a lot of accessories and with awesome features. Hardware of this one is quite close to the Acaso V50 Pro. Very high quality of the picture both in 4K and 1080p. Good menus on-body mount for tripods and among the coolest features is the voice command support. Nice to have is the image stabilization in 4K as well as the inbuilt distortion correction feature which corrects most of the distortions caused by the wide-angle lens. In other words, reduces the fish eye effect. At a price of around 100 US dollars, right now it feels like the sweet spot for the ratio of what you pay and what kind of features and options you get in return. It is available on Amazon.com and you can buy it from many Chinese retailers as well. Next, the SJ8 Plus by SJCAM with a remark. The only version that qualifies is the one without accessories. And there actually are two different releases, one with and one without accessories, and the price difference is about 30 US dollars. There are a lot of great things about it. Very good build quality, USB Type-C port, long-lasting battery, and a lot, really a lot of features. Compared to the models mentioned previously, the SJ8 Pro offers significantly better image stabilization and better image quality. The access to features is countless, you can hardly think of something that it won't support. The hardware inside is also very powerful, utilizing a Novatec chipset, the same company that made a breakthrough a few years ago with the SJ4000. Uh, it has a high-quality sensor, which is the same as the one used in GoPro Hero 5. Disadvantages, very poor support from SJ Cam side, and the price is a bit higher than what we traditionally expect from them. And there are a lot of remarks about the colors, like what Luis Rafael was commenting recently. You know, you, you get a free lipstick. Okay, um, that's about the SJ8+. Plus. The final contender, and I was keeping this piece as the last one, like a dessert, because it was the sweetest of all, and is the newest model, that's the Acaso V50 Elite. Because it is Acaso, there is, of course, probably the best set of accessories and the lovely design of the box. Sort of a GoPro feeling, with the difference it is actually full of features at one-third of the Hero 6 price. Supports voice commands, 1080p recording at 120 frames per second, which is brilliant for slow motion. Distortion correction, field of view adjustments, image stabilization, encoding with high-efficiency video codec, and most importantly, the first budget action camera that supports recording at true 4K 
at 60 frames per second. This feels like a very flagship action camera released at a very attractive price, currently launched at 139 which is about one-third of what you would originally pay for a Hero 7 and I can promise you the Acaso V50 Elite's hardware is gonna be good for at least another couple of years. And this was the last out of the six best budget action cameras I wanted to present you here on the tech for all channel. Uh, for any follow-up questions, ideas, feedback, remarks, you know how to get in touch. Comments are below the video, so are the links to each one of those six contenders. No matter what you choose, apparently there's quite a variety of options below the 150 US dollar threshold. Don't forget that's gonna cost you about one third of the price of the GoPro Hero 7 and performance would be quite similar. Uh, no matter what you choose or you already have bought, make sure to make a lot of great videos, have a lot of fun and I'll see you soon. Bye!